What's going on guys? This is Travis Lima here from Paid Memberships Pro and today I'm going to be speaking to you about the different ways that you can actually control member only content on your site using Paid Memberships Pro. So the the three methods that I'm going to be running through today are our pages, our posts and our shortcodes method. I'm going to be running through it really quickly but if you need some more in-depth information of this I'd like to encourage you to get or view our documentation and specifically the controlling members only content and all the information you need is on here. So if we head over to my development site, I'll just go to the front end of the site. As you can see, I have a sample page and a blog post and let's go ahead and restrict our page first. So once you at your page, you can go edit page. And on the right hand side, you'll see a require membership meta box. Now, if I click on the free membership level that I've created and I have updated it. Then when I go to view the page, you can actually see that this content is now for free membership members only. And I can go ahead and register for this right there. Now, if we go back, I'll just edit this page again. And what I can do is I can do the same. I can make it for premium members or I could make it for both members. So if both of the checkboxes are ticked or however many you have, then each and every membership level will be able to view this page. Regardless of whether you're a free or a premium member, you can view this page. And you can also use this for tiered membership levels. So Free members can have access to only this page, but for example, a premium member can have access to premium content and this free members page. So I'm going to go ahead and update that one last time. And then we view the page. And there you can see there, the content is for premium membership and free membership members only. Great. If we head back to our home page, let's go ahead and restrict content, restrict the content that's on this blog post. We're going to go edit post. Now there's two methods to do this. The first one is very similar to the page method. And here you can see on the right hand side again is a require membership meta box. And you can just select and update the membership level that you want to view this page or this post. Sorry. Um, the second way to do this is to actually create a category and then you can set this category. So what you can see is I've already created a member only category previously, but I need to go and actually set this in my membership level settings. So let's go and do that now. And when I say set this, I just mean that what I want to do is I want to set our member only category to work for our premium membership level. So every single time I I activate that category on a blog post, it will restrict it to premium members. So to do that, we just need to edit the, the premium membership level. We scroll down to the bottom and then where you see the content settings section, we are just going to make sure that our member only category is selected. Once selected, we can save the level. And then when we go to our edit post section again, we can make sure that our member only category is selected. And if you have other categories, feel free to check these. They, that won't make a difference. And then if we update it and view the post, you can see this post is now locked and we will need to be a premium member in order to access it. And to do that, we just click the register button. Great. So now the last thing that I want to show you is how to restrict content via our shortcode method. And maybe what I can do is I can just show you the documentation real quick. So with this method, you can actually restrict different sections of content or you can basically separate different content sections and then display them to different membership levels. So for example, if we wrap some content in our membership shortcode and we don't assign any level attributes to them, then this will show up for all members. You can get a little bit more specific now and actually add a, a membership level ID. And then this will only show up for level one users. If you need to add more than one user, you can separate them by a comma, 
via comma, sorry. And this will show up for levels one, two, and three. And then finally, what you can also do is set it to a level zero or minus one, minus two, whatever the case may be. And this will show for anyone not in level one, including non-members and visitors. So anyone who doesn't have a level one or any non-members and visitors. And then finally, membership level equals zero will show up for any non-members and non-logged in site visitors. So uh, if you need to find your membership level, you go to your membership level settings and here you can see your membership level IDs are here. So if I assign a membership level to one, it will be for my premium memberships. And if I assign it to two, it will be for my free memberships. Great, so let's just go ahead and just to show you what we're gonna do, we'll wrap this bit of content in a membership, sorry, membership shortcodes. And I will actually add this level attribute to make sure that non-members can actually see this and I will make sure that level ones can see this and level twos. So let's go ahead and update that. And I'm going to open this in a new tab. Oh, sorry. Great. So this content is, you know what, I should probably make sure that our member only category is off and then refresh. Great. So now this, although you can't see a difference, this will display for anyone who has a, uh, who's a non-member, a level one member or a level two member. Okay. And so now we, what we can do is we can actually wrap our code just to Um, let us give it a restriction of level one, I believe, because our level one was our premium member. So basically what we want to do or what we are doing is we're saying that this little bit of code is only going to be accessible if you have a membership level of ID one. Now, if I go back to my membership level, ID one is for premium memberships. So let's go, let's just finish this up. Okay, and if I update that and I refresh our blog post. Awesome. Now you will notice that our code gist, which is just below this heading over here, is gone. And that's how our shortcodes work. If you wrap it, if you wrap a bit of content in our shortcode and you do not have access to that level, then it won't display. It all, it hides the content completely. So if you want to actually make it known that, hey, you need a, a, a particular level in order to see this code or to, yeah, to see this bit of content, then you can actually wrap something like I've done here at the bottom. So let us go. Membership level. Sorry, equals zero. Membership. So now basically what will happen here is if you are a level one, you will see this code recipe. Okay. But if you are a level zero, which is a non-member, then you will see hi, in order to see this code recipe, <laughs> recipe, please sign up and then a pretend link. So let's go ahead and update that. Now, before I refresh, this page. Remember, I can see this purely because I hadn't um, restricted it before. But now it will actually show up as as I need it to be. And if I go and set my profile to have a premium membership level, as you can see, I've got membership level equals none. I edit this. And I go and give myself a premium membership. What I'm doing now is I'm just manually assigning a membership level to my profile. This is something that only admins or site managers or membership managers can do. So you don't have to worry about your members doing that. And then 
if I go and refresh this page, now remember, I currently have a premium membership and I scroll down, then I can actually see the code recipe. Just to illustrate that one more time, let me go ahead and change my current level to none. So in other words, I am now a non-member and I go ahead and refresh this and I scroll down. The code recipe is hidden and I have my message which says, hi, in order to see this code recipe, please sign up with my pretend link. So I should actually include a link here that will direct a user to a membership levels page so that I can actually sign up for the level. And that's it guys, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this really quick run through of how to restrict content using Paid Memberships Pro. There are a ton of resources that we have on our site, our documentation, as well as our blog, um, have a whole bunch of things that you can do to level up your site. So please feel free to check that out. And if you are a premium member and need some further help with this, do not hesitate to get in touch with us via our support forums. We are more than happy to help you. I hope you found this useful. Have a great day.